Pregame.com. Saturday college basketball. We're going part two, Big East action. We're going to take a look at Louisville at Seton Hall. I'm Marco D'Angelo, joined by Vegas Runner. VR, um, I was wrong earlier in the week. It did videos with uh, Stephen Nover, and I thought Seton Hall was in a great spot to catch Notre Dame coming off a flat spot. I mean, let's face it, Notre Dame upset the number one team in the country. The I'm, you know, <laughs> stormed the floor, beat you know Syracuse, give them their first loss. And to Notre Dame's credit, they came out and played yeah. a great game last night. And I th what I thought was going to be an advantage for Seton Hall, in reality, turned out to be a detriment. They hadn't played in a week, so I thought they'd be fresh, ready, you know, focused, focused. on Notre Dame. They came out. I mean, they couldn't shoot Flat, the ball. Yeah. They could not shoot the ball in the ocean. <laughs> so what am I going to do? I'm going to come back with them here. Uh, you know, it's not often that I will... You know, I don't want to say use the word chase a team because I'm not chasing them. I think the situation's right. It's the second game back at home. They're not going to have another 42-point performance. And I think we're getting value because... How bad they've played. People are going to look. They lost those two games on the road. You know, then they come home and lose, which that was their first loss at home. This team has played very well at home this year. That was their first loss. I like them. I have a projected line here of five. And again... You know, with our lines, I put a projected line. You put what you actually think the line should be. I put what I think Vegas is going to bring it out at. Where do you see this? Like? I think if they bring it out that high, they're enticing Louisville action. They want Louisville action. Because I think the betters are going to look to back Louisville here at a dog price. Just a matter of how many points is, are the books going to be willing to give them. I have Seton Hall as a favorite. I'll tell you, I'd, I'd be comfortable laying up to three or, or more mm -hmm. a couple with this team at home because I think this is a great spot for them. And this is a huge game. I mean, these two are tied in conference play. I mean, they're both four and four. They may be in the middle of the pack with eight teams above them, but in the conference standing, this game is big. Um, and Seton Hall gets to play it at home, and they have revenge from last year when Louisville beat them by 19. They embarrassed them at Louisville. So here's a shot for a little payback. And I agree with you. After the way they looked against Notre Dame, I think they're going to be focused and they're not going to come out shooting as bad as they did well, the other this night. Is, this is the beauty of you know basketball and handicapping. You know, I've used the phrase, you've heard me say it a hundred times, no team's as good as their yeah. best effort or are they as bad as their worst. Well, okay, Seton Hall couldn't have a worse effort scoring 42 points. So there it is. It's out there. They're coming off their worst game. You're going to get a max effort from this team off of an embarrassing game, especially because it was at home, and they're playing at home the next game. They want to race that bad taste yeah. out of their mouth. Then you talk about public perception. We're all about value. Well, when the public sees something with their eyes, it, they lock on to it, and they are looking. Notre Dame held this team to 42. What's Louisville going to do? Because Louisville is the bigger name right. in college basketball. So you've got now the public's going to get involved and create that public perception and value. I think we're going to get a soft number on Seton Hall in this game, and people are going to forget until they lost to Notre Dame, this team rolled everybody on this floor this year. I'm going to back them here. And people are looking at Louisville. They're looking at those last two games where they were impressed. You know, they look impressive. If yeah. you just look at the scores and you look at the names, they beat Villanova and Pitt. Well, in any other year of the Big it's East. It's impressive, not that this would be, year. Yeah, this year it's not. Villanova, as we just talked about in the other video, is a young ball club. They, they're up and down. They're not consistent. And the Pitt Panthers had their longest losing streak under the Jamie Dixon era, and, yep. and as a guy that's focused on Pitt, I can't, I can't put my pulse on what's wrong with Pitt this year because this is, this is just crazy. Um, you know, I haven't made that many plays involving Pitt because they have been so up and you know, down. I am not impressed with what Louisville has done. I think that this is a great spot for a rebound for Seton Hall, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to make them my video best bet. It's our first video best bet of the basketball season. Um, you know what we've done in football the last three years. We've hit 64% on the video best bet, so we're going to make our first video best bet of the season in basketball. It is Seton Hall. I've got them winning the game by nine. 
VR, what, what can you I, add I here? totally agree with you. I think stylistically, this is a nightmare for Louisville. They're easy to prepare for. They can't shoot from three-point land. They want to get in the transition, and yet they don't have the quickest tempo. I mean, this is a team right now without an identity, you know, um, where Seton Hall... Excuse me, we'll put that on. Forgive me while Marco's best bet. Uh, the well, steam is coming it's in. It's coming in. It's, it's getting close to game time. Uh, with that said, I think it's going to be an easy matchup for Seton Hall because they don't, like I said, they don't have to depend on the three. They're a taller team, so they could play them on the inside. Um, this is a stylistic nightmare for Louisville. The only edge they could have possibly is in transition, running the court, but I don't think Seton Hall is going to allow that to happen. Don't they're at home. They're mature enough, I think, to dictate tempo, and they do have that size advantage. I think they're going to capitalize on it. I think Seton Hall is a great bet in this spot, brother. These kids, Theodore, Edwin, they get no respect. They're undervalued. I used them on my value top 10 earlier in the season. I thought they were an undervalued team because in the Big East, they're an afterthought at best. Right now. You know, mm -hmm. since the days of Terry DeHare, they yeah. haven't, no one's <laughs> talked about Seton Hall Pirates, you know. So I, I thought they were undervalued coming in. They have a quality club. This is a very winnable game for them. I'm just hoping Vegas is a little generous with the number here, and I could bet Seton Hall your best bet. Well, we've got Seton Hall, and as we do every week during the best bet segment, we give you a coupon so that you can save $10, you can go to Pregame Pros, enter it in the coupon code, and you'll get $10 off. This week, the coupon, hey, it's Pro Bowl week. I don't know if anybody's really going to actually watch it, but uh, I haven't. Oh, I you are watching it, <laughs> and you are betting it too. Don't lie. Yeah, I, I can honestly say I have not watched a Pro Bowl probably. In, I haven't either. I know I've bet an over to over the years <laughs> yeah. in my life. But Pro Bowl 10, all one word, Pro Bowl 10, and you'll get $10 off for anything you want and you know the drill if it happens to be ten dollars vr what happens drinks are on the house you, you know vr and you can pick up vr me anybody and rj's picking up the tab if it's only a ten dollar pick but he doesn't let that happen not all often, too often not too not often. often so pro bowl 10 he's vegas runner i'm marco d'angelo we're going to be back we're going to look at sunday nba action and we've Good got games. a Good we've games. got a best bet from vr so we're going to check it out, and he's been nailing it Red with hot. his big plays in the NBA. So be right back.